Hi, my name is Brian, and about three months ago, I purchased the Presto Flipside Belgium Waffle Maker, and I've been such a huge fan of this thing that I thought it may be worth my two minutes to give you a rundown about what it does and how marvelous it is. I'm a cooking moron, and this thing bangs out wonderful waffles. And so what I've done for you today uh, is I've made my, my waffle batter. It's right here. I should do a, a video review for this stuff as well. I've used the Carbon's Golden Malted uh, original pancake and waffle mix. This stuff is fantastic. So I've whipped it up, and over here you can see we have our the waffle maker itself. It actually stores upright, which is kind of handy. There's a little red thing here that you flip down. So we're going to flip it down, like so. The top does get pretty hot, so you got to be careful with it. We're just going to move it up, like so. And we're going to add our batter. It's usually about a cup of batter uh, for a good waffle. So We'll add that in. We're going to close it. We're going to wait about three seconds. Uno, dos, tres. We're going to flip it over. You're done. Now, this thing actually has a timer on it. The, it comes with a, a little battery to place in there. I've never actually used the timer. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. So you can program it for two minutes or three minutes. It'll beep whenever it's done. I've never actually used it. I just kind of every now I'll wait a minute or so, and then I'll look at the waffle if it's not crisp enough. I just wait a little bit longer. And so a lot of people have commented about the the timer. I've never actually used it. There's some things about this waffle maker that I really like. First of all, it's remarkably non-stick. It's very easy to clean. Uh, and so, you know, the, the, the batter I use will make a couple of waffles. And after I'm done, I'll unplug the waffle. As far as I can tell, it has a, a, an automatic turn off. And so, so it, for example, if I make the first waffle and then eat it, by the time I come back to make the second waffle, it seems like it's turned off. And so I've never tested this long term, but I believe it has an automatic turn off. Uh, it cleans up really easily, which I find really nice. And it also, as, as you saw earlier, it will stand up when you put it away. And so it takes up a lot less space. After about a minute or so with it cooking, you'll see the steam begin to rise up. Once the steam starts to dissipate, it's usually just about done. About halfway through, I just turn it back over just to make sure we have good heating. It, it cooks both sides at the exact same time. Uh, and it also accommodates um, some other ingredients. So this is a plain old waffle mat batter. But sometimes I'll mix in raisins or dried cranberries or, or other treats and goodies as a way of just mixing things up. The holes are really deep, so if you happen to be a, a maple syrup kind of person, it, it'll absorb the, the correct amount. Let's see how our waffle's doing. Oh, just about done. All things considered, this has been the, one of the best $40 purchases I've ever made. Uh, the waffles come out marvelous. And I think part of that's enhanced by the, the waffle batter I use. But the iron itself is certainly top-notch. I'm not a, an enthusiastic five-star giver most times, but I've really enjoyed this. And, and if it were to die today, I'd buy another one tomorrow. I mean, the way I look at it, for 40 bucks, that's going out for breakfast four times. And if I do this once a week, I save myself some pretty good money. So let's see how our waffle is. That, my friends, is quality waffle goodness. If you were to buy this, if you, if you, if you use it once a week, you're going to be more than happy uh, with like the waffles you make. It really is a good time. So hope you find this helpful. Uh, I've been very happy with this waffle maker and would, would highly recommend it to you. Hope you, have, hope you have a great day. Thanks.